Welcome back to Bay News 9. One Gulf Coast restaurant is tossing what's on the menu back into the Gulf. Our Scott Fies catches up with a true Florida native who's excited about what will be on our plate years from now. Here's Florida a tank with greetings from Brainton Beach. Florida has 287,000 acres of shellfish approved waters. Less than 2,500 acres are leased. Ed Childs has a vision offer more environmentally sustainable seafood. My dad had done the first four Red Lobsters. If the name Child sounds familiar, that's what allowed him to be in politics. Ed's father, Lawton, served Florida as the legendary governor. Today, Ed... It's got a nice crunch to it. ...is in the kitchen at the Beach House in Bradenton Beach. I've been coming here since before I can remember in what turned out to be the greatest spot in the world, you know. What's on the menu? How Ed is changing what he calls yeah. food tourism. Don't truck stuff all the way across the country. Uh, the whole carbon footprint. While the Beach House is known for locally caught seafood... A little white wine. Ed says the rest of the nation is not. 92% of the seafood, Scott, that we eat in the United States of America is important. In order to produce more local clams and oysters, Ed began recycling the shells. We make an impact on the environment, and our biggest goal is to mitigate that. So. Robert Ball with the Beach House says shells from oysters. Oysters Rockefeller and clams don't get tossed out. Instead, they're placed back in the Gulf. The idea is, is that when oysters are going through their natural spawn, um, the larvae are swimming around looking for some place to attach. They love the shell. And within time, that shell may be back on this plate. That's Florida on a tankful. Ecotourism, food tourism, you know, that's the market that you really want. I'm Scott Bice with greetings from Bradenton Beach.